Walker system employs three ascenders and a chest roller for climbing single ropes. It is the most efficient system for ascending free hanging ropes, but due to the larger number of attachment points and the low attachment of the foot ascender, it is less efficient at technical rope maneuvers such as changeovers, crossing knots, and crossing rebelays. The most common version of the system uses two ascenders for climbing progress. There is a knee ascender, such as the Petzl Basic, that attaches to a foot loop with a webbing extension so that it rides around mid-thigh, and a floating foot ascender, such as the Petzl Kroll, that attaches to another foot loop. These two ascenders are connected using a double bungee that passes through a pulley attached to the chest harness. The bungee automatically advances the ascenders up the rope as the feet are alternately raised. A chest harness with a single roller is used to hold the body in an upright and efficient climbing position. And a third ascender rides above the chest roller as a safety connection that can also be weighted when a rest is needed. To get on rope, start by attaching the foot and knee ascenders, followed by the upper ascender and chest roller. Always have a safety tether to both the upper ascender and knee ascender. Traditional cow's tails can be used with the long cow's tail attached to the upper ascender and the short cow's tail attached to the knee ascender. When beginning to climb the rope, there will usually be enough friction from the foot ascender that the rope won't feed automatically. The usual technique is to hold the bottom end of the rope and run it under the opposite foot in order to create enough tension to allow the foot ascender to advance. Once you're 5 to 10 feet off the ground, there should be enough rope weight for the system to feed without assistance. To climb, simply step alternately with the right and left foot as if climbing a ladder. Try to avoid any horizontal movement of the feet, such as with pedaling a bicycle. Rather, try to push straight down and lift the legs directly in line with the rope. The arms can be left free to push off a wall, but it is sometimes more comfortable to use them on the rope just for counterbalance to offset weight shifts caused by movement of the legs. Pointing the toes slightly may help maintain a more upright posture. Perform a changeover from descending to ascending. First lock off the descender and attach the upper center as high as possible. Lift the foot with the knee ascender high and attach it above the descender then stand up while sliding the upper ascender further up the rope and attach the chest roller. Sit back down and remove the descender from the rope. Finally, attach the foot ascender and begin to climb.
perform a changeover from ascending to descending, slide the upper ascender up the rope and sit down to weight it. Reach down and remove the foot ascender from the rope. Thread the rope from below the knee ascender into the descender and lock it off. Step up using the knee ascender and remove the rope from the chest roller. While still balanced on the knee ascender, release the cam from the upper ascender and slide it down the rope while sitting down and transferring weight onto the descender. Remove the knee ascender from the rope. Inspect and test the descender for proper operation, then remove the upper ascender from the rope and begin to repel. Crossing a rebelay or not with a rope walker system, as with any climbing system, it's important to maintain two points of contact. If traditional cow's tails are being used, and these are both tethered to senders, it may provide a better safety margin to use a third tether or a quick attach safety, in other words, a fourth ascender. The rope walker system employs three ascenders, so two points of contact can be maintained without clipping directly into a rebelay anchor or loop in the rope. But one of these points of contact is the foot ascender, so at a minimum, it would need to have a strong chicken loop to be considered a life safety connection. When approaching a rebelay, remove the chest roller before reaching the anchor so that you aren't pulled into the wall. Remove the knee ascender from the lower rope and move it to the upper rope. Remove the upper center from the lower rope and reattach it above the knee center on the upper rope. Step up on the knee ascender while sliding the upper ascender higher on the rope and attach the chest roller. Remove the foot ascender from the lower rope, attach it to the upper rope and begin to climb. To cross a knot while ascending, Remove the upper center from below the knot and reinstall it on the rope above the knot. Remove the chest roller from below the knot and reinstall it above the knot as well. Step up until the knee and foot ascenders are just below the knot, slide the upper center as high as possible, and sit down while weighting it. Move the knee ascender from below to above the knot, followed by the foot ascender. Then continue ascending. To cross a knot on descent, first repel onto the knot with the descender, or lock off just above the knot. Attach the upper ascender and slide it as high as possible. Attach the knee ascender, step up on the knee ascender and slide the upper ascender slightly higher until it can be weighted. Remove the descender from the rope, reinstall it just below the knot, and lock it off. 
Shift weight between the upper ascender and knee ascender to down climb until the descender becomes weighted. Remove the knee ascender from the rope. Inspect and test the descender for proper operation. Finally, remove the upper ascender from the rope and continue repelling. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the like button. Subscribe if you aren't already, so you can learn about other videos on the subject of caving. And comment below to let me know how I'm doing, or to suggest other caving-related topics. Thank you.